I'm with SwagsGalore.com. This is the first of what I hope to be many instructional videos on installing window treatments. Today I'm going to show you how to hang a three-piece swag set. Many customers have emailed us saying they can't get their affordable window treatments to look like ours do on our website. So I'm going to spend some time showing you how it's done. The swag I'll be working with today is an emery line three-piece swag set. The emery swag set is available in four colors and three sizes. 36 inch, 45 inch, and 63 inch length. I've taken the liberty to iron the curtains I'll be working with today. I've threaded the emery swag on the wide pocket rod and now I'll get started. It's important when you're setting the treatment on the rod to distribute the fabric throughout the course of the rod. You don't want it stretched in one area and clumped in the other. So it's real important to distribute it as evenly as possible throughout the course of the rod. Another thing that's important is for the folds in the fabric to be straight. You don't want it to be slanted. You want them to be straight. The easiest way to do that is to pull on the top of the header and the bottom of the curtain like this, the length of the rod. And it kind of straightens out the folds where you, it doesn't look like it's crooked. So I'll spend some time doing that. And you can see there's not a lot of time or effort involved in doing that, but when it's all done, you'll see that this window treatment looks pretty good. So we're getting there. Another thing I like to do with some window toppers is I like to crown the header. What I mean by that is that instead of it being just like this, which is fine and acceptable in most cases, I like to put a crown. And the way I do that, I cup my fingers with one hand and I'm going to use two fingers in the other hand. And you'll see what I do. I'm going to go down the length of the rod and the header doing just this. First I'm just going to space it out a bit and then I'm going to then I'm going to dress it where it's nice and straight and it doesn't look sloppy and crooked. So just give me a minute to do that. You could do this at home and this is going to be the difference between your treatments looking professionally installed like custom treatments or not. Real important to have straight vertical lines. We don't want it to be like that. It's going to look sloppy not going to look like you want it to look. So as you see, I just pull on the bottom of the curtain, balance, and it kind of straightens out those lines. And I'll just create some nice folds where everything's symmetrical through going throughout the course of the rod and the curtain, and voila. So there you go. Five minutes of work, a little bit of effort, $19.99, your window could look as good as this. I think it's pretty good. Uh, could you spend a little bit more time with the folds, the vertical folds in the crown? Yes, you could. Make it a little bit more symmetrical. But I just wanted to give you a heads up as to what you can do in a short period of time with an affordable window tree. So that does it for this instructional video. I hope this video was helpful in showing you how to install an affordable window treatment and making it look like the expensive custom swags that sell for hundreds of dollars. So if you're in the market for affordable window treatments, I encourage you to go to America's Online Curtain Superstore, www.swagsgalore.com, and see the world through our windows. We offer free shipping promotion and many coupon options to help with your shopping experience.